Greetings, my fellow Gorehounds. I just got an advanced screening of IFC Midnight's new Aussie zombie action flick, Wormwood, and I gotta admit, I liked this film a whole lot. It's got awesome, quirky, funny characters, it's got some kick-ass action, and the plot goes in directions that I really wasn't expecting, which is saying a lot given how formulaic most zombie flicks are when you think about it. And on top of that, this film isn't just a homage to awesome old zombie films like Dawn of the Dead, it's also a love letter to post-apocalyptic Australian action films such as the Mad Max franchise. Seriously, if that alone doesn't make you want to check out this movie, then what are you doing watching my show? Seriously, that's like, that is everything that's awesome rolled up into one awesome Sunday and... I don't know why anyone wouldn't want to just, just fucking engorge on that shit and just fucking... Well, I guess then... Then you'll end up like me, a fucking fat ass. Now that's not to say this movie's perfect, far from it. In fact, there's an overuse of CGI After Effects blood splatter that really took me out of the movie every time it happened. And trust me, it happens like every five seconds in this movie. Like, I understand they probably didn't have the money or the time to pull off like practical squib effects, but could you at least have hid the digital effects better? Like, seriously, like the entire time I felt like I was watching a video game and maybe that's what you were going for, you know, going for that left for dead feel, but I, I, I gotta be honest, I sat down to watch a movie, not a movie video game, so uh, you lose points for that, guys, but hey, hey, hey. The practical effects underneath the smoke and the gunshots looks fucking beautiful. Like, the zombies themselves look great, but then the smoke happens, and then the blood splatter happens, and you're just like, ah, geez, like, it's not working. Ah. Also, what this movie adds to the zombie mythos is this gaseous smoke coming out of their mouths, and well, while that does sound awesome in theory and probably looked great on like a storyboard, in practice, like, it just, it just looks like zombies with like digital artifacts flying out of their mouth. It just, it doesn't look right. Now, that being said, it does lead to my favorite plot point in the movie, so I guess in a way, it's kind of a trade-off. Still though, I found myself invested in this movie based on the strength of the actors as well as the cleverness of the script. Hell, there's a point in this movie where it goes full StarCraft and there's no fucking way I wasn't gonna love that just based on the ballsiness alone. Now, I'm not gonna explain what I mean by that, but if you've played the game and seen this movie, you'll know it when you see it. Anyway, my fellow Gorehounds, um, I got nothing more to say other than if you want to check out this movie, it will be hitting video on demand this Friday the 13th, otherwise known as the day before Valentine's Day. So, uh, bring a date and get your smoochy smoochy on. And with that all said, uh, peace out and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.